The MLB announced that Dodgers right-hander Josh Raven has been suspended. Cuba made some changes in the WBC that won't let Yasiel Puig play and much more. Coming up on Dodgers Nation Report, brought to you by ClickSuperProducts.com. Hey guys, for Dodgers Nation TV, I'm Elisa Hernandez. Breaking news came in today when the MLB announced that they have suspended Dodgers right-hander Josh Raven for 80 games without pay after a positive PED test. The Dodgers, after hearing the news, they released the following statement. They said, We are disappointed to hear that Josh has violated MLB's Joint Drug Prevention and Treatment Program. The Dodgers fully support MLB's policy toward eliminating performance-enhancing substances from the sport and as per the Joint Drug Program, we will have no further comment on this suspension. Now, Josh Raven last tweeted about a week ago saying, I'm out. Not sure if those two things correlate, but he did release this following statement through the MLBPA. He said, quote, during 2016 spring training, I came down with a severe case of intestinal flu and strep throat. I was put on antibiotics and lost a total of 20 pounds in less than seven days. To try and speed up my recovery, I took some supplements that would help. Unfortunately, I was not as careful as I should have been, and one of the supplements contained a banned substance. I later learned that the substance showed up in a regular drug test done of me during the 2016 spring training. This has been a very painful lesson for me. I've always tried to avoid doing anything in violation of the system and take full responsibility for the consequences of my actions and my bad judgment. So I have decided to accept the suspension and continue my ultimate goal to be able to pitch again in the major leagues. Now Raven was on the Dodgers 60 day DL list after suffering a broken left forearm due to a car accident that he was involved in. The Dodgers have not released any further information at this time, but his suspension will start immediately. Moving on to the World Baseball Classic, which will be held in 2017. Now this is an opportunity for players from the MLB to go back to their homeland and represent them on a much, much larger scale. Well, unfortunately for Dodgers Yasiel Puig, he will not be given that opportunity in 2017. Now that's because Cuba announced that players who have defected from Cuba to the United States are no longer eligible to participate in the World Baseball Classic as part of Cuba's team. They released this statement saying, Cuba will continue with our athletes. That's something we will keep as principal. Our athletes who are within the Cuban sports system and within our national series are going to continue to represent in the international events. Now that quote comes from Antonio Becali, the president of the country's National Institute of Sports and Physical Education and Recreation. So what does that mean? Well, pretty much that means that players like Yasiel Puig, Chicago White Sox Jose Abreu, New York Mets Ionis Cespedes, and New York Yankees Aroldis Chapman will not be able to participate. All right, guys. Well, like we're always, we're going to catch up on some things you might have missed. MLB.com captures our beloved Vince Scully giving a history on beers. True Blue LA has your Dodgers Rays probable starting pitchers. Think Blue LA captures an awesome moment between the umpires and Vince Scully before the game. And John Peterson goes to Player Tribune to share a special bond that he has with his brother Champ. For all those stories, make sure you visit DodgersNation.com. Thank you so much to our sponsor at CollectSuperProducts.com for sponsoring Dodgers Nation Report. That'll do it for us, but make sure you follow them at CollectSuper, us at Dodgers Nation, and me at e. Hernandez TV. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and comment below. Let us know what you think of Raven's suspension, as well as Cuba's decision to not let Major League players play in the WBC. All right, guys, once again, thank you so much to our sponsors, CollectSuperProducts.com. And for all these stories and much more, visit DodgersNation.com. Look at our new set. It's so pretty. It's like brick wall and everything.